so now we are going to visualize the various charts that we have studied this week on python and for this we are going to consider the ott platform data set so first of all we are going to draw plots for categorical variables and we begin with the bar chart so let us first import two libraries over here import pandas spd we know that pandas is used for data manipulation and we also import matplotlib matplotlib.pyplot as plt okay so this we know that it is used for creating data visualizations such, such as plots and charts now we are going to load our data set load the data set we will comment this and now we are going to use a function from the pandas library pd dot read underscore csv and we will write the name of the data set ott perception data dot csv so here this code basically it is using this pd dot read underscore csv function from the pandas library to read data from this file and it will store it in a data frame which we refer to it over here as data so data frame is basically a data structure which we use in pandas to work with tabular data sets next we are going to count the frequency now here we are going to consider so we are since we are talking about categorical variables so let us suppose that we are going to draw a bar chart for the subscription plan because if we display a bar plot to visualize the distribution of subscriptions plan then it would be very much beneficial to the company we need to count the frequencies for each category in the subscription plan that is for basic premium and ultra so first of all we will write command for that count the frequency of each subscription plan for this we will write subscription counts here data subscription underscore plan this is the name of the column dot value underscore counts so here we are using this particular method on the subscription plan column of the original data set and what this method method does is that it counts the unique value so it will look at what are the different categories present in this column and then it will also write the corresponding number of times that particular value has occurred for instance it will count how many times basic has appeared and premium likewise and for ultra also it will count the counts for each unique subscription plan so now we are going so maybe if you want we can just see what and display what it is so out of the data set that we have basic plan is subscribed by 507 users premium is subscribed by 307 whereas ultra is 186 now with this counts we want to draw bar chart so we will create a bar chart create a bar chart so for this first of all we will write the dimensions that we want plot dot figure where the fix size we want to fix at 8 comma 6 so basically it means that it says the size of the plot to be 8 inches in width and 6 inches in height next we are going to use this function 
plot dot bar it is going to create the bar plot so let me write the arguments in this subscription plan subscription underscore counts dot index so i am writing this first of all then i will explain the meaning of each of these then i want subscription underscore counts dot values so you notice that first of all the same name is appearing over here and first of all index is mentioned it means that here the index are these plans basically so from here this is basically like a series over here so from this series it is going to first uh, extract the index which are the categories and then dot values means the counts for each category in this case now we are going to write color sky blue we want the plot to be of sky blue color and we want the edges to be black so this over here plot dot bar is going to create a bar plot where subscription underscore counts dot index it will contain the unique subscription plan labels that is basic premium and ultra and this one is going to have your corresponding counts so this is how your bar chart looks like so you can see for the basic one it is giving you 507 okay for premium the count is 307 and for ultra it is 186 okay so here since we do not have titles and uh, labels for y count for y axis also so let us just customize it a bit so plot dot title so we want the heading to be the bar chart for the subscription plan so keep in mind that bar charts or pie charts these are for your categorical variables so here we have do, done it for subscription plan you can select any other categorical variable and proceed in the same way to get the bar chart now we want the x-axis label to be subscription plan subscription plan and plot dot y label to have the counts we also want the x ticks the x ticks with rotation 0 so it means that x axis labels should not be rota rotated and finally we will write plot dot show to display the chart that we have just created next we are going to draw a pie chart so as we have already imported the libraries and we have the data set so we will count the frequency now here in this case we are going to consider the device most used column which is again a categorical variable so let us count the frequency first and for that we will again use value underscore counts so this is for creating i am just writing for pie chart so first of all we are going to count the frequencies so we will create this device underscore counts so this is your data set from there we are going to focus on device most used device most used so u was capital in this case dot value counts 
so we also did this method for the previous one also for the subscription plan if you can see from here right so here we are basically using this value counts method to sorry value counts method on the device most use this particular column of the data set and this will count what are the unique values in this column and then it will also return a series that contains the count for each specific category so sorry it will be value underscore counts now we are going for define solid colors for the pie chart so let us just define these define solid colors so we are creating a list over here and the colors will be light blue it depends upon you whatever color you want to choose <coughs> light green light coral and light pink so we have defined a list containing colors so we have given four color names so these colors will be basically used to fill the segments of the pie chart now we are going to create a pie chart and for this first of all we are going to set the size of the figure so let us consider this plot dot figure in bracket we write fig size which is 6 by 6 in this case so basically width and height will be same as 6 inches so now we will create a pie chart using this plot.py so if you can recall here we used plot.plt.bar and for pie chart it is plt.py so now here we are going to write different arguments so first is device counts because here we have saved this particular counts so device underscore counts and then labels will be basically your device underscore counts dot index next we are going to use your auto percentage auto pct and we will give the formatting as then start angle we will mention start angle which is 140 start angle next we will mention the colors which is same as the colors that we have just defined above then we will also mention the wedge props so wedge means the segments because in pie chart we have different segments so it is also referred to as wedge so here wedge props will be edge color edge color as black yes so what we have done over here so here in first of all we are setting the size of the figure that is 6 by 6 next we are going to draw a pie chart and it takes different arguments over here the first one basically means that we are referring to the data that is to be plotted that is we have obtained over here now in this case device counts dot index basically if you see over here device counts basically it is a panda series that contains counts for each unique device right because each category for these devices and it also contains the counts so the names of the devices that is laptop or tablet or pc tv so these are basically written as the index and the corresponding counts are the values 
so here when we write device count underscore counts dot index so it means it is going to extract the index that is index means that the category names from this basically and it will refer to them as labels to the segments of the pie chart now what is this auto pct basically it is the auto percentage and it is used to specify a format string for the percentage labels because in this sorry there will be only one in pie chart for each segment we also write the percentage we express it in percent so that is why we use this particular auto pct parameter in this plot dot pi function which because it will help us in formatting and displaying the percentage on the segments of the pie chart here what does it mean actually if you look within the percentage the second the first percentage that is one, this one the left side one this is basically to show that the percentage will be followed by a percent symbol at the end and here now what is 1.1f so if you remember we have used this also earlier 1f basically denotes the decimal places right so 1 means that it will display up to one decimal place and the first one over here is basically the total width of the formatted string so if i say here one it means that it will be one character wide and dot we know that it is a decimal point separator so this is referred to as auto percentage this is just for formatting and displaying the percentages in the pie chart now we have this one that is start angle start angle is 140 which means that we want to specify the angle at which the first segment of the pie chart will start so this is a parameter in the plot plt.py function and basically it will do what is see pie chart basically starts with the first segment pointing to the right at 0 degrees now when you set it at 140 what it does that it rotates the entire pie chart anti clockwise by 140 degrees so it means that the first segment will start at an angle of 140 degrees to the x axis positive x axis now next one is colors so colors we have we set the colors of the pie chart segments so the there are four categories so we have we need four colors also for that and so each category will be or each segment will have one of these colors and finally we write wedge props is equal to edge color black it means that it will add black edges to each pie chart segment for better visibility so you can see how it looks like so we have tablet mobile pc and tv so 24.7 percent 26.9 23.9 and 24.5 percent so if we want we want the title also so here only i can make this change so it will be plot plt dot title it will be pi chart for device most used and this is the chart and we will also show finally plt dot show to display the pie chart on the screen so this is what you get as we have discussed in the lecture also while we were discussing about this pie chart that it if the percentages are very close to each other then these areas may not give a good depiction also if it increases if the categories increase then also it becomes difficult to deal with pie chart because interpretation would be difficult in that case so in such cases pie chart is not preferable so here also you can see that tablet and tv they have approximately the same percentage of users and the highest one is on mobiles so mobiles you can understand that yes because everyone is ha having it on hand so just they are scrolling and watching the content on mobile most of the times so we have seen the bar chart and now we have also seen the pie chart
so if you remember pie chart and bar chart are used for single categorical variables however if we have two categorical variables and we want to study the relationship between them then we would be drawing a stacked bar chart and in that case we need a contingency table okay so let us first draw a contingency table and based upon that we will draw a stacked bar chart so in this case we aim to draw a contingency table for gender and subscription plans so basically we want the gender category in the rows and the subscription plan category to be as the column for the contingency table so first of all we are going to create a contingency table so contingency table contingency underscore table is basically created using the pd dot cross tab function from the pandas library data we have gender so gender is the first categorical variable and the second one is your subscription plan subscription underscore plan so we are using this cross tab function from pandas library in order to create a contingency table so contingency table as we know that it is also referred to as a cross tabulation or a two way table so here we are using these two categorical variables that we want to analyze and cross tabulate next we are going to display the contingency table display so for displaying we will use the heading print contingency table so this will give you a header for the table and then we will also print this basically what we have obtained over here yes so you have a contingency table so in the rows you have gender so the categories in gender are female male and prefer not to say and in subscription plan we have basic premium and ultra so if you look at these values over here these counts will help you in understanding basically the relation between these two so if you see suppose 180 the first entry over here so 180 means that female users who are having mm, basic who have subscribed for the basic plan the number is 180 in that case okay and lowest if you see is in this case for females you can see that they have opted for the ultra plan for males also if you see most of them have opted for the basic plan only 160 it is also mm, mm, that was also seen from your earlier one also because most of them have subscribed for the basic plan okay so it basically divide gets divided into different genders based upon that now you have the contingency table so using that you can create a stacked bar chart for this so let me just comment this create a stacked bar chart so we will use the we have this table already with us right so now we will use this to create a stack bar plot so let us just first of all write contingency table the name that we gave earlier n is missing contingency table dot plot so here this is basically from pandas right and it is used to create different types of plots so in this case we are using it to plot a bar chart so we will write the kind in the bracket so the first argument in this is kind that is bar so which basically means that it specifies that we are going to create a bar plot so the different categories 
in the table would be represented as the bars next we want the stack also so stack is equal to true so it means that we want to create a stack bar plot so in the stack bar, bar plot what will happen is that each bar will represent a category so in this case it will represent gender so there will be three categories theory bar charts corresponding to each gender category and within the category you will have segments and where segments of the bar are stacked on top of each other and each will reflect the subscription plan the count for the subscription plan okay and the figure size is basically your 10 by 6 so 10 is the width and 6 is the height okay so it has already displayed this female male and you are getting over here subscription plan basic premium and ultra so let me just customize it a bit and then we will see what will happen so we want the title right so you can write the name as stacked bar chart next we want the x-axis to display or the x la label will be x label to be the gender and y label will be the count x sticks will again here also we will use rotation as 0 because we do not want the x axis labels to be rotated and then we will give the legend plt dot legend title that is subscription plan title is equal to subscription plan so basically it will add a legend to the plot with the title subscription plan and it will also explain the colors like here what it has done that which color means which particular plan and finally we will plot dot show so we will display the customized plot so now you can see you have the heading as the the title of the chart is tag bar chart on the x-axis you have the gender and on y-axis you have the count and you have the subscription plan this is the legend that we have specified over here so when we have executed this code we have got a stack bar chart based on the contingency table that we just made so this type of visualization is useful co for comparing the distribution of categorical variables across different con categories and understanding how they stack up relative to each other so here you can see for females the numbers that we have obtained over here in the contingency table the same counts are coming so here you can see by just looking at this blue portion you can identify that which one has a higher user base okay so in this case prefer not to say also has a higher user base because of the basic plan so green corresponds to basically your ultra so green is for ultra this one is for premium and this one is for basic so this is all about your categorical variable so we have seen two charts for single categorical variable and when we have two categorical variables then we have also seen how to draw a contingency table and a stack bar chart